Thank you for purchasing the dependable dental chair. Let's get our tools ready and begin the installation. To remove the chair and its components from the packaging, first we need to unpack the top box and remove the safety screws of the delivery tray. Then unpack the big box that contains the chair and remove the safety screws from the front and back. When removing the packing material, be careful not to scratch any of the parts. Once the chair and all the parts are removed from the box, locate the main power cord in the junction box and plug that cord into a power outlet. Turn on the main power switch so you can move the chair up and down using the joystick controller in the base of the chair. Remove the protective plastic covers of the high and low suction tubes and place it on the assistant tray. Then remove all the remaining protective plastic covers. Identify the water and air pressure gauges in the junction box. Now let's identify the components of the chair. The assistance tray, the high speed and low speed suction tubes, the foot control, the water on and off switch for the hand piece, and the chip air button the joystick or chair position controller, the light pole holder, and the delivery tray holder. Once the chair is raised to the highest position, make sure to turn off the main power switch and unplug from the outlet. Using a screwdriver, remove all six screws and carefully remove the covers. Identify the three wires for the light that comes out of the light pole holder. Identify the cuspido position and the suction filter and connection. Look at the high suction connection. You may also add another high suction connection if needed by drilling a hole through the extra connector. Make sure to keep the cap closed at all times. Open the accessory box. Identify the two plastic rings that go into the light pole and the delivery tray holder. Now take the delivery tray and tie the arm together using a strap. We recommend you using an assistant to help you install this tray. Identify the tubing and wires that come out of the delivery tray. Each one of them is numbered or color-coded in order for you to connect to the corresponding tubing inside the delivery box. It is recommended that you tape all the tubing and wires to prevent damage while inserting through the pole holder. Once the wire is inserted, you may insert the delivery tray pole to the pole holder. Make sure to keep the plastic ring cap safe to prevent any damage while inserting the pole. After the delivery tray pole is inserted, tighten the screw. The screw will secure the pole to the chair as well as control its movement. Remove the protective plastic covers and place the three handpiece tubing and the air water syringe into the holders. Carefully open the light pole box and remove the protective covers. Identify the groove on one side of the pole. That is the part that will be inserted into the light pole holder. Be careful when removing the light pole because the pole has a spring tension. To prevent injury, we suggest that you tape it. Pass the plastic ring through the light pole and insert the light wire through the small light pole. The wires are color coded. Connect the three wires shown using the color codes to the corresponding wires and insert the light pole to the pole holder. Make sure that the pole sits on the notch correctly. Remove the light head from the box. You will find the plastic collar and an extra light bulb in the box. Remove the screw using the provided Allen key. Insert the plastic collar and connect the light head by connecting the corresponding wires and tighten the screws.
remove the protective plastic covers from the Cuspido, insert the tubing through the Cuspido holder. The tubing are all marked. Place it on the Cuspido holder. Locate the Cuspido filter and the cap from the accessory kit and position in place. Locate the cup filler and Cuspido water tubing and attach it to the Cuspido. Now connect the blue water tubing from the Cuspido to the corresponding connection. One connects to the cup filler and the other to the Cuspido rinse. If the tube is not labeled, you can blow through it and feel where the air comes out in order to identify the tubes. Using the pipe fitting, connect the drain tubing to the drainage pipe. Locate the air vent tubing and insert to the light pole as shown. Make sure the end is higher than the Cuspido. Identify the built-in suction. The blue tubing is for water and the black tubing is for air connection. The high suction works with air pressure and the low suction works with water pressure. If you wish to use the external suction, disconnect the two wires that come out of the assistant tray arm as shown. If you wish to use the external suction, disconnect the two wires that come out of the assistant arm. Now connect the wires and the tubing from the delivery tray. First connect the chair control wires which connect to the main circuit board. Should you need to connect the assistance touchpad control, you may connect that to the next available slot. Connect the number coded tubing from the delivery tray to the corresponding tubing in the delivery box. Then connect the low voltage wires that come from the delivery tray to the corresponding connector. The wires are color coded. Make sure to follow the color tabs at the end of the wires and this will provide power to the x-ray film viewer box. Make sure to check all of the wire connections and properly tighten and secure them since they may get loose during the shipping. Identify the wires in the connector panel. The two white wires are for the water heater, four black wires are for the electrical solenoid, the top two black wires are for internal suction, the top blue and black wire from the transformer are the low voltage wires. If this is not connected, the touchpad will not work. The bottom blue and brown wire are high voltage wires. Now remove the two screws in the J-Box cover. Let's identify the components inside. The blue tube connects to the water pressure gauge. The black tube is for the air pressure gauge. There's a water filter. The air regulator allows you to adjust the air pressure. It defaults to factory settings. The bottle water pressure gauge allows you to adjust the pressure it defaults to factory settings. There are three clear tubes. One large tube is for drainage and the two smaller tubes are for high and low suction. Now connect the larger clear tube to the drainage line. If you use external suction, you may use the Y or T connector to connect it into a suction unit. If you are using the internal suction, you may insert these two tubings into the drainage line as well. Take the blue and black tubing provided in the accessory kit along with the half inch quick connector. Connect the blue tubing to the water line and properly tie the screw as shown. Using the half inch quick connector, connect the blue tubing to the water line and tighten the screw. Connect the black tube to the air connector and connect it to your external air supply. Now remove all six screws in the seat back. Install the headrest and tighten the safety screw in the headrest so that the headrest will not come out. You can also tighten the four screws in order to restrict the movement of the headrest. Using the screws provided, 
Attach the seat back to the backrest holder. Now place the seat back cover and tighten the screws. To fix the armrest, remove the plastic cover. Now attach the armrest holder into the chair frame. Place the plastic cover back on the chair and fix the armrest. To rotate the armrest, you may pull it up and rotate. Now attach the seat to the chair. And place the black plastic base cover and adjust the screws on the base so that it will fit tightly onto the base. Finally, place the white plastic base cover and tighten the two screws on both sides. We thank you for purchasing the dependable dental chair. For any sales questions or additional information, please call 800-733-7490. If you need any additional technical support, please call 215-390-3865.